Kevin's how, how's crap, camp going for you? It's going yeah. good. It's been uh, it's been great just being back out there with the team. Uh, it's really like one of my first camps, fully healthy, fully back out there. So it's been great. You know, team's been uh, getting together well, uh, getting that chemistry right. It's feeling great. You've also been the number one guy, and I know you're used to that in high school and things like that, but you've become that here. So you're the leader of this group. How's that changed things for you? Yeah, well, you know, we had a lot of guys leave, you know, just trying to take on a leadership role, um, but still competing for jobs. You know, everybody's hungry, everybody's, you know, nothing's promised to anybody. So uh, out there competing, taking on the roles, stepping up as a leader wherever I can, uh, trying to be that for the team wherever, wherever I'm needed, and then just fitting in where I can. What do you think you've learned in your time here going into the season, and kind of what are you looking to do? Yeah, I think uh, just learning the importance of team, learning the importance of you know having somebody that's a leader, having somebody that can uh, you know you can f rely on, fall back on that trust factor. Uh, it's really important. That's something that we've been emphasizing as a team. Is just how can we grow as grow as a team? How can we you know mesh well together? How can our leaders bring everyone together? You know, it's always about player led, not coach fed. You know, player led teams are the ones that go the distance. So that's what we're emphasizing. Yeah, what was your biggest, for as far as, you put on weight, obviously you're over 200 pounds now, but what was your biggest, I guess, goal this offseason, and do you feel like you've attained that at this point? Yeah, it's just you know, like you said, uh, getting a little bit bigger, putting on a little more weight, um, continuing to be explosive, continuing to be fast, making guys miss in the in open field, and that's just stuff that you know, I'm continuing to work on. You know, camp's a great opportunity. You can only really work on those things when you're you know out there on the football field, going against other guys. So uh, just having those opportunities, those team sessions, those you know one on ones, whatever it may be, the opportunities to be able to you know use those skill sets to be able to you know make things happen. Like that's where that's what I'm trying to do. Do you feel like it helped your weight? I mean, it helped you, helped you stay healthy. Your weight does anything that makes you stay yeah, healthy? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, you know, uh, putting on a little more weight, talking with nutrition, you know, just being able to take a little, couple more hits, uh, but also being a little stronger, being able to deliver the blow a little bit more so I'm not taking as much. Uh, but it, it's been – I felt great so far. What's impressed you about Taylor so far in certain camp? Yeah, he's a he's a great player. He's an athletic player, um, smart guy, not afraid of anything. You know, gets his head in there. He's he's willing to battle, willing to fight. Uh, competitive, extremely competitive. He's He's been really impressive. How the quarterbacks been in camp? They've been great. You know, having a lot of leadership in that in that role too. Um, with Jackson stepping up, uh, Mike Hawkins stepping up. You know, they're learning to take on that leadership role from the quarterback aspect. It's a little different, but they've been doing great. Uh, it's very impressive in what they're doing. Uh, you know, leading the team. Uh, you know, getting that chemistry with the wide receivers, with the running backs, uh, trusting the O line. They've been they've been doing great. Yeah, I mean, your little brother's on the roster. Yeah. How did all that happen? Yeah, you know he. Uh, I'll let him tell his own story. I won't, I won't take too much, but, you know, he had the opportunity. I um, was looking at a couple different other schools, had the opportunity to come to Oklahoma, and, you know, just loved it here ever since. And, uh, you know, it was like, you know, I'm going to take my shot, take my opportunity. So it's, it's been great having him here, great having family. Yeah. You know, he gives another competitive aspect to it as well. You know, I can't lose my brother. So, and so it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. So are you guys living together or anything crazy like that? Nah, he still has to live in the dorms. Okay. He still has to go to the freshman, yeah. freshman routine. But we hang out a lot, and y'all see him in the facility all the time. You know, I help him wherever I can, trying to give him the, you know, some help with the things that I struggled with when I was a freshman. You know, each one teach one. So. How did how did he tell you he was gonna come here? That he made the decision to be a sooner? Yeah, I, I, I kind of had a feeling he would. Um, he gave me a call, but I kind of had a feeling I was trying to tell him, you know, don't come for me. You know, yeah. make your decision, make your decision, make your decision. But like deep down, I wanted him to be here. So <laughs> I, I, I was so excited when he was like, "Yep, come along." Last year was obviously pretty tough for Devon Ted. So he's almost like a new guy this year, kind of a new lease on life, if you will. Yeah, I mean, he's been battling through a lot of adversity. That's one thing about Javante. You know, he battles, he fights. You know, he's a hard worker no matter what it is. Uh, he's going to go out there and give 110% every single time. So uh, he's been working hard. He's been grinding. He's been, you know, looking really good. So I'm, I'm happy for him. I know he's, he's been through a lot. And, you know, finally things are, you know, a lot you know, coming into place. And he's taking advantage of everything he's doing. Has there been a moment on the practice field or maybe even off the field that was like, I think this guy's kind of back. He's, he's back to where he was. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like he's he shows he's the same guy every day. He's consistent. He, you know, hard worker. He's gonna bring that same effort, that same energy every day. So you know, just being out at fall camp alone, you know, seeing him, uh, seeing him back into his groove, back into doing his things. Like I, it's, it's just been great. I'm, I'm excited for him. I'm happy for him. And it, and it brings you know also another level of competition. You sure. Know, just having different backs in there, and you know, he's he's a great teammate as well. So supportive of other people too, helping them out whenever they need anything. So he's been great. You guys I'm trying to get this cohesion with your offensive line. It's kind yeah. of a new offensive line. How's that coming along? It's coming great. You know. Um, those, those are the guys that you know we love the most, especially as running backs. So, uh, however we can you know create relationships with them, bond with them, you know start to understand you know how they play, different things. Uh, it's, it's, it's been coming along great. And Coach B's been doing a great job with them. 
you know, working them, getting them ready for the season. I'm excited for them. They'll be pretty good. Having Seth and Joe John take over the offense, what's been your favorite thing about how that's changed maybe your role in the offense? Yeah, you know, they're just, um, I'd say they're creative. You know, they're creative in getting people the ball that, uh, you know, are making plays. So whether that's me, whether that's anybody else on the team, they're creative in finding ways to get them the ball. So uh, I, I love that, you know, making, uh, putting up matchups um, so we, to help us in the run game or the pass game, whatever it may be. They've been creating a lot of different matchups and opportunities for us to succeed as an offense. You and Javante both were dinged up at similar times last season. You used a hamstring, him with a foot and a knee. Does that help you guys, I guess, become a closer unit, more more brothers, you know, help each other out, lean on each other? And has that helped you on the field as well, just kind of, you know, with the teammate aspect of it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, as there's only really one running back on the field, but it's such a – Know, useful position and having someone else, having other people, you know, there with you. You know, because sometimes you know your day may be off, and then his day's hitting, or you know, vice versa, whatever it may be. But to have somebody that you know, maybe something's not hitting for you, and then all of a sudden he blows something up, and then you know everything else is opening up. Like just to be able to have that that combo, whatever it may be, however many running backs you have in the game, like to have that opportunity to have that, it's been great. And you know, like I said, he's a great teammate. He's supportive of everyone that's in there. He's challenging everyone that's in there. He's doing those same things, and then he's going out there and doing it himself as well. So uh, he's just Great servant leader, doing what he's doing, and you know it's it's been great. Gavin, where have impression? you seen yourself improve from last season to this season? Yeah, uh, definitely putting on some more weight, um, but also getting better. You know, in open space, you know, that's one thing I wanted to work on is you know, winning one-on-one -on -one battles in open space, making a good play, a great play. Uh, that's one thing that's been that's been that's been good. You know, I've been able to work on that in fall camp, having that opportunity to you know go against a great defense. You know, I, I have those one-on-one -on -one situations where I can work my skills. And how do you feel like Seth Luttrell's offense sets you guys up? 